desperately seeking martyrdom. For over a year, there had been signs that a problem had been surfacing in the Toronto suburb of Mississauga. Students there, like Ibrahim, observed many of these signs. His expertise in computer technology providing him with some of the clues. Come on, bros. I need some jihad talks. On his screen are a series of comments by one of the 17 arrested, made long before he was taken into custody. The online postings contained angry condemnations of the society around him as being opposed to Islamic law and jihad and talked of a pent-up anger. It was an anger that began to concern others, the moderates, who tried to head off what they saw as the trouble that lay ahead. Three of those arrested came from the same high school in Mississauga, an area where Ahmed Amardeen is a young Sufi sheikh counseling Muslim youth and attempting to steer them away from trouble, the kind that has been espoused by the radical Wahhabi and Salafist forms of aggressive Islam. When I send them an email with all the proofs citing where their fallacies are, I was given a reply, which I have till today in my email, uh, which, which was to the effect, who are you and why are you sending me this kind of filth? May God destroy you. Moderates like Ahmed Amardine are often caught between the suspicions of the mainstream population and the hostilities of the Islamic extremists. Instead of saying that, you know, uh, Muslims should go back to their countries and, and all of this, well, if we went back to our country, those guys wouldn't. And, you know, good luck with them because you need, you need us here. What is the attraction of this extremist form of Islam to these people? The glory of the past, right? It's old glory. It's like, um, it's, it's, it's similar to maybe somebody that uh, at one time in their life was, was really wealthy, right? And basically one of their forefathers lost all of their wealth. And they know they drive by one of their old houses in, in their neighborhood where they used to live. And, you know, then they're told by somebody that, hey, you know what, I can move you back in here, but you're going to have to do one or two illegal things and you can have this house back. Amid all the suburban sprawl of Mississauga on the outskirts of Toronto, there is a debate going on among its large Muslim population. For moderates, like Ahmed Amardine, there is the question of who is financing the big new mosques being built in their area. You know, you don't take aid from a bank. You don't take aid from a financial institution. Well, where are they getting their money for this? You know? Where? They're, it's coming from Saudi aid. And I've been screaming at our authorities here. I'm telling everybody, mosque officials, everybody, wake up and you better basically make an effort to stop the rise of this type of Islam. And the only way to do it is unfortunately, in my opinion, you know, you have to put a stop to Saudi Arabia.